Good morning and welcome to the channel The Vaping Piper. Sunday morning, a bit chilly, a bit dry. I've been this morning to a most energizing run and I'm looking forward to have my coffee, uh, a good aromatic cigar or cigarello. Yeah. Um, one of the, well, should I say, one of my favorite um, aromatic cigarellos or cigars is this one here, the Toscano Rosso, that I reviewed in the past. Um, I haven't got so many left from my initial order. Um, yeah, need to place another order. But I've been enjoying these cigars immensely small uh, quick smoke not so quick actually 30 minutes at least but full of flavor and chocolatey you have to watch my full review that i will put a link above if you watched my um when i went through the list of um pipe tobacco and some other items that i received from um, America, this was one of them. Eileen's Dream. Um, yeah, and this is a cigarello made uh, in the Dominic Republic. As you can see here in the back of it. And um, yeah, I didn't know anything about it uh, at the time, but uh, I was recommended to try. And um, if you can see here the flavor profile, in short, it tells you white chocolate truffle and Irish cream. Right over here. So, um, actually still in the wrapping. I decided to give this a go instead of my pipe blend and it comes in this very nice sort of metal casing and uh, and here we are so you can read what it says here I don't think you'll be able to see with the reflection but I'll read it for you flavored by CAO Eileen's dream is a combination of Irish cream a white chocolate truffle superior Irish whiskey, frost cream and coconut milk compose our Irish cream. The delicacy of the white chocolate truffle is a subtle mixture of hazelnut paste, white chocolate, ground almonds, cocoa and vanilla extracts. This avalanche of flavors is infused into a cigar with a grade one Cameroon wrapper and a mild Dominican filler to complete this five star reverie relax in tranquility while savoring the Eileen's dream and let it lull you into a bed of green grass where Irish eyes are smiling <laughs> very nice okay um, so it comes here yeah, it's all sort of um, taped now, I'm not sure if this is the same as the Toscana it doesn't have to be in a humidor uh, but it comes, as you can see, 10 cigars, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, in a cellophane, individual wrapped. And, yeah, ready cut. Now, the smell of the cigar, first whiff, is... A bit different let me just distance myself a bit from the Toscana Toscana has got a smell that even if you put it in a bag it will, it's very very strong aroma to the Toscana very strong aroma in compression to this in comparison to this one it hardly got a smell I can't smell really nothing well I can smell the tobacco leaf 
and you get this uh, nice band on the cigar it's a bit longer than the Toscano I don't want to compare them both I just brought it with just as a reference but it is more sort of similar to my Cohiba Cigolo 1 size that I showed when I reviewed this but much thinner now you'll see on the screen the information on uh, the size and the filler wrapper and the binder that when we do the edit you'll see it now uh, well what is it to do just to give it a go shall we see what we experience from that list of flavors they mentioned oh yeah i can taste already sweet creamy oh i can taste it already but it doesn't smell it smells of tobacco leaf but the taste certainly is sweet all right so let's give this a go full-bodied oh this is much more this is much stronger than I thought it would be the Toscano is a lot milder I know there is a pie blend based on Eileen's dream and I'll show it to you now on the screen you'll see the pipe blend itself in a tin 50 50 gram tin the wind is blowing give me a second This is more like a uh, proper cigar, rather, but with a fairly decent barrage of flavors that I'm getting here. First of all, you taste the leaf, the 100%. You taste here the natural leaf of the cigar this is not as aromatic as the description allows you to think so um, you taste here the grade one cameroon wrapper and the mild dominican filler yeah but i think there was another leaf here consisting of Domin dominican and nicaraguan filler and binder and a Cameroon wrapper you definitely taste those leaf there is no denying this is a proper cigar but with it it's quite spicy and a faint chocolatey note chocolatey coca note to it but not as a pronounced as I thought it would be no is a faint chocolatey coca note with something that I can maybe describe as a touch of coconut so far but it's quite a complex cigar I must tell you complete surprise to me I thought it would be sort of more on the aromatics um, more sort of like aromatic pipe blend that you taste all those nuances the top ups and the topping the casing what whichever the case may be this is more like a you know you taste the leaf the full bodiness of the leaf comes straight to you but with that you get a very slight coca chocolatey note what's with the wind sorry about that I'll just put it over here you 
hazelnut nutty yes i'm not sure if i'm tasting hazelnut There's a slight creaminess here. Would I call it vanilla? Not 100% sure, but there is a creamy note for sure that goes along with that chocolate cocoa. But mainly what I get, what I taste here is the full bodiness of the cigar. Yeah and a fair bit of spice. Quite peppery when I retro inhale. When the aftertaste in my mouth, I am getting sort of a sweet note. That chocolatey coca sweet note with a creamy, call it vanilla. The way I describe, they describe the flavors, let's run this again. A combination of Irish cream, white chocolate truffle, superior Irish whiskey, was it frost cream and coconut milk compose our Irish cream. The delicacy of the white chocolate truffle is a subtle mixture of hazelnut paste, white chocolate, ground almonds, coca and vanilla extracts. Well. It's a bit rich. Uh, I don't think you will taste all these nuances in the cigar. Um, but it's like tasting wine, you know. The more you've got advanced palate, the more you can detect those nuances that one can interpret as such and such and such. Um, yeah, for me, it is a delicious, full-bodied, robust, Peppery, spicy, with a ever so slight back note of chocolate cocoa type of sweetness to it, with a, I think, a bit of a coconut note that I can associate with a coconut and a creaminess to it that actually masks a bit the full whack bodiness. If that makes sense what I'm describing to you. But really the leaf, the leaf itself is what gives the tone here. Very delicious, full-bodied cigar leaf. The wrapper has got a sweet note to it when I tasted it even before I lit it. And that is with, with the smoke. Come to think of it, when I am sort of touching it in my mouth without actually inhaling, I, could, I do get hints of a whiskey note. So I'm not sure how they've done it. Have they sort of saturated the wrapper with all those flavors? Not 100% sure. But the actual smoke, is more like a full-bodied cigar than this than the Toscano that is for sure the Toscano is more on the aromatic the Eileen's dream is more of a cigar with ever so slight nuances of those toppings that we mentioned except for a few that I can't taste the truffle what was it the white chocolate truffle, all that, and no, the hazelnut, I can taste nuttiness, not so much hazelnut. <coughs> oh, it's quite strong as well. <sighs> yeah, so 
it says that this avalanche of flavors is infused into a cigar. Infused into a cigar. Maybe that is the difference between the Toscano. I'm not sure. Toscano, you can taste the, the leaf. The Italian Kentucky, or the American Kentucky leaf. But it's more on the aromatic side of it. It's more, you can taste more the aromatics. And it's not so bold. And it's not so uh, full-bodied. It's more sort of aromatic cigar. This is more like a cigar full-bodied and robust with um, hints of all those notes except for the, the white truffle the white chocolate truffle that I don't really taste here well it is a delicious cigar there's <laughs> no denying it reminds me of the days where I used to smoke my Cubans well obviously it's, each cigar has got his own flavor profile but the full bodiness the um, the goodness the of tobacco the leaf itself so I'm quite pleasantly surprised here when I thought I will try the cigar it will be sort of very aromatic more than the Rosso no not at all Smoking quite fast, actually. Well, we're 16 minutes now, 17 minutes in the in the video, and I'm already more than half down. Every once in a while, I get this whiff of whiskey. Is it from when I touch my lips on the leaf, or is it through the smoke? I'm not entirely sure. But I can definitely taste that underlying chocolatey coca that comes through with a creamy, creamy note that you might associate to vanilla. But this grade one Cameroon wrapper <coughs> and mild Dominican filler is what gives the tone here real nice smoke oh that goes so well with my coffee yeah very nice oh <clears throat> lovely so you see you never you could always be surprised by trying something you never tried before and never rely on the description of whatever you're going to smoke, either pipe blend or cigar, because other people's experience is not necessarily going to be yours. And the best way to figure it out is to smoke it and see what you discover. Looking at the box, you would have thought this is sort of a bit feminine type of cigar especially reading the flavor profile but this is full bodied don't be fooled by the labeling here maybe on the pipe blend you can taste more all those nuances and all those flavors but as the cigar goes it's full bodied and mainly you taste the leaf with whiffs here and there the coke and the chocolate is fairly um, consistent that what gives the delicious note of the cigar but the creaminess also fairly consistent the whiskey comes in sort of bit randomly um, mainly when you put the cigar to your lips and you taste it and it also emits like a sweet note yeah I can taste now in my mouth as well. Actually, it is a very nice cigar, to be honest. I'm just taking off the ring. Really nice cigar. And it is a fairly quick smoke. 
20 minutes is my guideline for my reviews normally and comes to blends. Well, I'm nearly down to the end of it. And if already, I think it's becoming even more peppery and robust as you go along. Especially in retro inhale, you really taste that spice in there. Yeah. Lovely. Well, so this was my take on the Eileen's Dream. Um, I wouldn't call this aromatic cigar as such. I would call it a full-bodied, robust, spicy cigar with very good quality leaf, with touches of whatever you're going to pick up, the nuances, either the chocolate or the cocoa or the vanilla, a bit of the whiskey. But I couldn't pick up anything really on the truffle and and all that. Almonds, more nutty, rather. Yeah. Well, if you smoked the cigar, I would love to hear your views, what you tasted in it. Everyone is different, you know, everyone's got different type of interpretation, different palette, whatever. I just found it a very good quality, full-bodied, robust cigar with various nuances that enhance the smoking pleasure. So, um, I'm going to carry on enjoying this little bit of cigar I've got. And I wish you all a lovely weekend. I don't know when you're going to watch it. A lovely weekend, lovely week, lovely day. And I'll see you soon on the next video. Take care and bye-bye for now.